Hi, I'm Patrick Wynn, and I'd like to talk to you about Google Voice. We'll go through some of our most recent updates, a little about how you can put the service into practice, and what our customers have shared with us as well. It goes without saying, COVID-19 has created immense impact to our global community. More people have been socially distanced and ultimately working from home or other remote locations. This is the new reality. Google Workspace has shown to be an effective method of working remote, and we've worked hard to ensure voice is no exception. In fact, we notice more and more customers are seeing this new style of work as a useful opportunity to switch to a work from anywhere business telephony solution. This means team members can make and receive phone calls from wherever they're signed into Workspace. Not only has this been happening in the business world, but it surprised us how many of those in education made the switch to voice as well. Our goal with voice is to make phone calls at work a delightful experience through the power of Google innovation and scale. At Google, we've worked really hard to understand and process spoken language, such as with Google Assistant, that we can put to use in tools like Google Voice. We take that well-honed technology, like text-to-speech, to make updating inbound calling menus quick and easy. You don't have to upload another voice prompt when your business hours change, for example. Our unique speech-to-text processing provides features like voicemail transcription across multiple languages. Also, we can protect you from unwanted calls through the refined machine learning models of other popular tools like Google Dialer and Gmail. Behind the scenes, voice is part of a much larger telephony platform that powers billions of minutes and messages from services like Google Fi and Meet. This is important because phone calls have quite a bit of nuance to them. They don't work quite the same as other media like video. So let's go through a few of the more visible updates we've made to voice over the past year. A lot of workspace users leave Gmail open on their desktop. So this is a convenient way to make calls and avoid you missing those important incoming calls. Once Voice for Workspace is activated, Gmail will be ready to ring. On that note, we've also made it easier to see why you might have missed a call. For example, if you have calls directed to voicemail, outside working hours set, say, in Google Calendar. On the theme of availability, we've also taken things a step further and combined our call forwarding technology uh, that's been part of Voice for over 10 years with our feature-rich Voice over Internet experience. When you add another linked phone number like that of your mobile device, you can make and receive calls over the internet or through a carrier call. Voice will predict which path is best based on your connection and will also preserve your caller ID info even when forwarding a call through your mobile carrier. This is a great way to stay connected when you only have internet access or your internet connection isn't as reliable. If you have a mainline number for your organization or a specific resource line, you can now upload your own audio clips in addition to the natural sounding text-to-speech prompts we've always provided. We also give you an automatic transcription of the uploaded file to help you identify the clip. And earlier this year, Voice added Belgium, Italy, and Germany to the other 11 countries already available. At the same time, we've also launched the ability for Google Meet customers in these countries to access 100 dial-in countries and make calls to the globe. This uses the same architecture as Google Voice behind the scenes. Last year, we launched support for ring groups, similar to hunt groups. These are the industry norm for how you would distribute calls amongst members in a particular team. So this year, we added some popularly requested features, such as specifying the ring group ordering and the maximum time for a call to ring. And we realized with this degree of configuration and control, unintended breakages in a setup can occur. Admins can receive alerts now when a configuration change is inadvertently stopped or a ring group or auto attendant um, might not be working. 
So with details uh, that are also shown in the admin console to help the admin correct it. For example, an auto attendant might break because a particular call flow points to a user that has since been removed. It certainly doesn't make sense to direct calls to a number that is no longer active. As with much of the rest of Workspace, we added e-discovery support to voice with Google Vault. Your legal or compliance team can access Vault through a dedicated interface and can build legal matters, initiate searches, legal holds, and export records across Workspace, and now including voice. This in may include things like transcribed voicemails, um, as well as call records. So these are just a few of the recent updates, but it's useful to see how some of these features come together with a demo. Let's see how this works. As a workspace admin, you can add voice by going to voice.google.com slash about and selecting the plan you want. You'll be taken through the workspace add-on process to get started. Like any other workspace license, you can assign voice licenses from the user section. In this case, I'm adding a license to Priscilla. You can also do this in bulk for many users at once. After this, you'll manage your telephony system from the voice settings. So this is where you can do things like set up your desk phones remotely, um, configure your emergency contact locations, and manage phone numbers in your inventory. You can also update your user assignments or bring your existing phone numbers to voice through number porting. Whenever you assign a user a number or let them do this themselves, your corporate directory will be updated automatically. Let's say you want to set up a shared mainline phone number. Voice provides two ways to do this, ring groups and auto attendants. In this case, let's create an auto attendant. This gives callers a menu that can respond to people calling in when none of the team can answer the phone. We'll give it a name and then create a simple menu. All we have to do is type in an intro and then select the options we want. In this case, we'll direct existing customers to support if they press 1. And if they press two, we'll send callers to our shared voicemail. We can enter a voicemail greeting just like we did earlier. And we can specify who should receive these voicemail messages as well. And don't worry, if at some later point, all of these people have left our company or just no longer as part of the system, voice will alert the admin to a broken configuration. We'll give this auto attendant a number, so it can be used on its own if we ever want to. We can also set up a different response when it's outside of business hours. And whether the prompt is uploaded or typed, you can always check what it sounds like as well. Our office is closed. Our opening times are 9 a.m. to 5 p.m., Monday to Friday. Please leave a message and our team will get back to you as soon as possible. And since this is a mainline number, we want those voicemails to go to a group of people. So we can choose who that group should be and enter their details in here. Now, what we really want is for our team to answer calls. We can do this with a ring group. Let's create one for our mainline number. We'll add our teammates, and instead of a round robin or simultaneous calling, we'll set the ring order directly. And we can tweak the ordering in which the ring group members will be called. Now, if no one picks up, we can send the call to the menu we created earlier. 
Let's give this ring group a number. This will actually be the public facing number for our business. Let's see what it looks like for a member of this ring group. Voice will ring with inbound calls in the desktop UI, desk phones, and mobile devices. However, people often have Gmail open on their desktop. I can see right away that it's a call to the mainline number we just created. After answering it, I can always transfer it to someone else if need be. As you can see, members are automatically emailed to notify them once they've been added to a ring group. Now, if for any reason the team doesn't answer incoming calls, for example, if they're outside working hours, calls will just go straight to voicemail. And those voicemails are automatically transcribed and then distributed to the members of the ring group. Hopefully that gave you a taste of how the product works. Now, our customers have put voice to use in a variety of different areas, so let's touch on a few of them. As mentioned earlier, uh, in 2020, education took advantage of the rapid rollout ability of Google Voice to keep their staff connected. This is important because much of the teacher-parent communication may not happen through email, but rather by phone call or text. And as a dad, I experienced this firsthand uh, when class details had to change at last minute. You just get a text message telling you right away. Voice has provided an official phone number to lots of staff members with internet access and education. Most of all, it didn't require teachers or staff to use their personal numbers and help them control when and how to communicate. All kinds of organizations have been rolling out Google Voice, including government. We put a lot of work into making voice easy to use from any device whilst helping customers meet their compliance or regulatory needs through tools like Vault and Audit Logs. As with any core service in Google Workspace, voice is included in our independent audits and certifications. In addition to meeting regulatory requirements, organizations in the public sector have been turning to voice as a way to reduce overall total cost of ownership uh, and simplify IT management within the already familiar Google Workspace admin console. And these days, it's important to be as, a flex as flexible and extensible no matter where members of your organization work. Voice makes it easy for users to get set up with their existing devices. No additional mobile SIMs are required to do this. As is the case with the rest of Workspace, security and seamless integration are par for the course. You can also start small and scale up as needed to help keep costs low. So hopefully this gave you a quick summary of our updates to Google Voice. You can find out more information from cloud.google.com slash voice. And while we have you here, there are a few other great workspace sessions to deepen your, into, uh, deepen your understanding of how workspace is enabling hybrid work and new patterns of collaboration. You can explore a workspace website and learning center to learn more about specific products and how you can ready your team and organization to adopt workspace. And lastly, you can stay on top of all the great workspace news on the Google Cloud blog, as well as the workspace updates blog. Thank you.